Dominic Cummings threatens to expose Remainer civil servants who tried to sabotage Brexit. Boris Johnson's infamous former senior advisor Dominic Cummings has threatened to name and shame Remainer civil servants who tried to sabotage Brexit. The former Vote Leave director left Downing Street in November after falling out with the Prime Minister. Freed from his role in government he is now threatening to expose the inner workings of the civil service and those who tried to deliberately thwart the UK's efforts to leave the EU. Toying with the idea on Twitter, he asked, should I name and shame the senior officials who persistently present a disastrously incorrect picture to ministers? He followed up the social media message with a second tweet adding, many will be pleased to know this is about ideologues with EU stars in their eyes, not the virus. Mr Cummings was brought into number 10 by Mr Johnson after the pair reunited for the Tory MP's Conservative leadership campaign having worked together during the 2016 EU referendum. As the Prime Minister's right-hand man he played a leading role in masterminding the UK's strategy to renegotiate Theresa May's EU withdrawal agreement last year as well as Mr Johnson's 2019 general election victory. Last year he turned his attention to civil service reform, warning a hard rain is coming and that Whitehall was far too big. Criticizing the faceless bureaucracy that props up the government in a blog post last January, called for less Oxbridge English graduates and more misfits and weirdos. He added, there are many brilliant people in the civil service and politics. Over the past five months the number 10 political team has been lucky to work with some fantastic officials. But there are also some profound problems at the core of how the British state makes decisions. He has also previously accused the Cabinet Office, the Central Office of the Civil Service, of being exploited by officials to limit the autonomy of individual ministers and impose the will of senior mandarins. Mr Cummings left his role in number 10 after falling out with the Prime Minister over who should be Mr Johnson's Chief of Staff. The chief aide urged the Prime Minister to promote his communications director, another former member of the Vote Leave team, Lee Kane. However, a power struggle emerged over who should take up the position after Mr Johnson's fiancée Carrie Simmons was said to have vetoed Mr Kane's appointment.